Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have created this really nice and natural look for you guys. Like this is a natural go-to makeup. Now this look is all about enhancing your features. Like you just have to work according to your face, according to your skin type and that's it. You will just get a nice result. Now you can see I have applied tons of highlights on my face like the primer was like dewy and then I applied highlighter too so it's all kind of a highlighted glam look but at the same time it's very natural like I have not applied foundation and the, just the concealer and I have not used eyeshadow make sure you just exfoliate your face really well because that is very important for this look so exfoliate grab a face mask and apply it on your face like this is all about enhancing your natural features so you want them to pop up just take care of your skin and you will be able to nail this look and that's it if you want to see how to get this easy 10 minute glammed up look just keep on watching So before starting I would like to say that I have already cleansed and moisturized my face. Now moisturizing I don't think you can count that as a step because that's something you do daily so I'm not counting that as a step but I would like to say that definitely exfoliate your face very nicely because this light makeup or no makeup makeup look is all about your real skin how is your real skin so be very sure that you just focus on what you have the texture of your face and everything like that you have to work according to that so basically I have a dry skin so the first step will be priming my face and for priming my face I am going to use the wet n wild photo focus face primer I used this in the last video and I loved this primer this is so good for dry skin like it is it gives you such a luminous glow like you feel like a goddess it's such a good primer if you have an oily skin then you can go for a mattifying primer and also if you want your makeup to stay for a very longer period of time so then also you can go for a mattifying primer but I like dewy primer for my face and that's all I want in my life so we are going to apply this primer for the first step and also my sleeves were disturbing me a little bit so I just pulled them up like you know I was not able to move my hands around so now I can just move my hands around the technique that I'm going to use with this primer is that I am going to apply this evenly all over my face but I am going to go a little bit extra on the on the high points of my face So as you can see I'm glowing like hell and now I'm not satisfied with this glow so I'm going to go a little bit extra on my cheekbones and my nose and in my chin area basically in the areas that I like to highlight so I will be going a little bit overboard in those areas because this girl here loves highlight. So basically in this area and just tapping it in now I am 
taking too much time because I have to explain the steps but if you do this makeup continuously it won't take more than 5 to 10 minutes for you to do. Okay, so once the primer is done and you start looking like a mirror, so now let's move ahead to the next step that is concealing. I will definitely not be using the foundation because obviously you can use a foundation that has a sheer coverage but then this look will not be that natural so I will just be using my concealer to hide my dark circles and the hyperpigmentation around my mouth. And like if you don't have dark circles like the horrible ones then you don't do not need to go for a full coverage concealer but if you have horrible dark circles then you can see that after applying the primer over here this area is glowing like hell so you just cannot let that sit like that and you just have to apply something to conceal that area so for that I use obviously I use concealer like concealer is my go to thing whenever I go anywhere I just have to use a concealer make sure that you take a concealer that's exactly your skin tone just like your foundation because if you're not going to do that then the some areas will look extra highlighted and the rest of the areas will just become very very flat so make sure that you take a concealer that's exactly your skin tone i'm going to use two concealers today i will be mixing them so these are the two concealers this is the wet n wild photo focus concealer and this is the la girl pro hd what is the name like that's hella long name so this is the la girl concealer and i'm going to apply this under my eyes and around my mouth and i am not going to touch any other area leaving that so make sure that you place it really where you want it to be because you don't want it to spread all over your face because obviously this will mattify the area where you put it so just make sure that you place it really very carefully now let it sit over there for like a minute or for 30 seconds so that it just gets absorbed into your skin and just set over there i'm going to use this mini sponge this is from back i am going to use this and blend this all in and make sure that you use a sponge because what this sponge will do is that it will absorb the excess of products and your makeup will look really very natural and very nice make sure you use a sponge i am taking this small sponge because i just want some precision i want the concealer to stay in the areas that i have put it into so just i'm going to go into the sponge and blend this all in So that's done like you can see a line over there and I will just blend it with the sponge from a clean side so that it will just mix the product and then it will look like there is like no there will be like a transition so 
now you can see it's kind of clear when you blend it even more it's going to be clear even more Now if you have chapped lips then make sure that you moisturize your lips, exfoliate your lips really nicely and apply a lip balm because that is very important because your lips are going to stand out if you're doing a natural makeup so make sure you exfoliate them and you don't want concealer on your lips so just remove that. Once that is done, obviously you have to set your under eyes otherwise you will face creasing and that's not something you want to go into. So let's now set the under eyes, that will be the... third step and for setting the under eyes i will be using my makeup revolution luxury banana powder i really love this powder we are not going to bake because it will just give a really very exaggerated look it will just highlight your under eyes and you don't want that so we are just going to set the under eyes we are not going to bake the under eyes just going to take the powder and dab the excess and now I'm just going to pull the under eye area and just going to set it. Just a little bit. My smile lines because the creasing also occurs there. So just setting my smile lines. Now your girl is still not satisfied with the highlight so next I am going to use a powder highlight and for that I am going to take the Makeup Revolution Skin Kiss Highlighter. This one is in the shade Golden Kiss. We are going to get uh, the Golden Glow Baby. So Now I am just taking the pack 245 brush and just taking the highlighter. And now what you have to do is just the normal highlighting, you have to highlight the high points of your face. And make sure you blend the highlighter really well because you don't want a streaky highlight so just blend it really very nicely. So once that's done and you are the glow goddess and now let's move on to the eyes and for the eyes you just have to do just have to do just two steps and one for the eyebrows so three steps now first I am going to take the same highlighter and I will be putting it on my eyelid okay so once that is done let's take a little bit more and let's put it in our inner corners so that's done now the mascara you have to apply the mascara just to give a little bit definition to your eyes now if you are a kind of a girl who cannot step out without kajal 
you can obviously go for your kajal but i just don't like applying because they really make my eyes look very small so i avoid kajal and i just go for mascara Now next we are going to move ahead to the brows because brows are something that really define your face. So if you have really thick and bushy brows then I would suggest to leave them as such. And if you have like a very thin brows then you can just go ahead and define them a little bit but don't go overboard because that will just you know unbalance the whole look. So don't go overboard with your brows if you have thin brows let them be there like I have a little bit thicker brows over here and over here there are no brows but I just love my brows and uh, so I'm going to do my brows I'm just going to define them a little bit just a little bit now for defining my brows I'm going to take the Maybelline Fashion Brow Duo Shaper no eyebrow gel and nothing just I'm just going to fill them very naturally I want, want them to look really very natural so just fill them casually I would say Now my brows are actually right now they are not in shape and I'm not getting them made purposefully because last time when I got my brows done it they were just a little bit too thin so I just want them to grow back and then I will just reshape them Now obviously if you have oily face then try to stay away from this amount of highlight because if you do this your face is really gonna break out and it will look very cakey and it will just at the end of the day you are just not going to hold this look because it will just flow everywhere. Now the brows are done I'm not going to do anything more than that because that's enough so next i am going to move ahead now this is the final step you have to do your lips and that's it you are done and with this look i would really suggest you to go for a really nice natural and glossy lip next, i will be using a nude lipstick and i will be just dabbing it on my lips this is the maybelline color sensational matte lipstick and this one is in the shade 657 nude mints so I'm just going to dab this on my lips. Now next if your lipstick looks very matte then you can also go in with a lip gloss. Uh, although this is not looking matte whatsoever but still I'm going to go ahead and use a lip gloss. Now the most important step that you have to do if you're wearing an off shoulder top Include this in your makeup, this will really help I'm just going to take the same highlighter and I'm going to highlight my collarbones So that is the completed look guys all of this is not going to take more than 10 minutes for you to do so this is a really nice natural and glowy obviously golden 
initiative that you can take and that was my go to makeup routine if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel do not forget to hit that notification bell and last but not the least share this video